Hello and welcome to this particular video. In this video, we are going to talk about advanced tableau tips and tricks. And first tip or trick we are going to discuss is how to make global reset button. So first let's try to understand what is the requirement and then we'll go ahead and we'll implement the same in tableau. Here I will demonstrate how to use parameters as filters and how to create user experience that allows you to create a master reset button. This single button will automatically reset all the parameter filters to their original and non-filtered state. So at the end, you are going to have this type of dashboard, which we are going to create. Here you can see that we have a reset option. And again, we are having different parameters. For example, I am choosing central. You can see I am getting the central region the associated sales for the same. I click on the reset. So you can see that it's a resetting it. Also the sales value is also changing. Same way if I go and choose let's say south. Click on so you can see that we are getting the south data and at the same time the sales for the south region. And when I click on the reset, you can see it's going back to the original state of the dashboard you can say it's all the state all the regions coming in together same goes with any other regions as well and when i click on the reset you are going to get the output so this is what we are going to implement in tableau and we'll see how it works so let's get straight into it the data set which we are going to use is sample super store data set which consists of various different columns where we have the region column if you go and check here and we have all the other details. I am going to use the sales amount, which is this. Also, I have another data set, which is region wise sales, which is the aggregated sales for different regions and the total sales in that region. So these are the two different data sets which we are going to use in this particular example. So let's start with the implementation of the same using Tableau desktop. Now I'll connect to the data set here. which is the sample super store data set. And I am going to create two different data sources. The first data source will be orders. And the second data source is my region wise sales. And I will use data new data source. And here I am going to use the same Excel file. And this time it is region wise sales. The way we do data blending on the same approach, we are going with this as well. Now I'll go to sheet one and here you can see we have two data sources coming in. I'll first create the region wise map. So I'll drag my country. I'll drag my state as well. And I'll drag the sales. In the colors so you can see we have different sales coming in and we can put the sales in the label as well and if you want we can change it to the different format it's in dollars and maybe thousands so that number will look fine and I'll go ahead and make it a bit bold and this is the chart which we have also, what I can do is I can go ahead and I can put the state names as well if it is required. So I can put the state names. So it is looking OK. So we can go with that also. And this is the chart which we have. Now, what I want here is that I want to go ahead and I want to filter based on the regions. Obviously, I can use the filter. I'll drag the region field in the filter and I can go for it. But I'm going to use the parameter as a filter. Parameter as a filter gives me a lot of flexibility and that's the reason I'm going for it. So I'll create one parameter. I can directly right click on the region and create a parameter from here. And here you can see that we are having four different values coming in. That is central, east, south and west. What I want is I want to add one more value, which is reset. And I'll give this as region parameter or maybe choose region or choose option. 
and I'll call this and you can see here the options are coming in. We know parameter is a standalone object. So nothing will happen if I change the values out here. I have to go ahead and I want to apply some tagging with the parameter with something. In this example, we are going to drag the region in the filter and I'll write some logic there. Now I will tag the region or I can say this parameter with the region field in the filter. So I'll drag the region in the filter and I'll go to the condition and here I'll write the formula. I'll say that choose option is equal to region. So basically I am saying here is that or I can say region field actually. So it's gonna be region field. So here I am saying that choose option equal to region. So if you are choosing central, it's gonna pick up the central region and it will throw me the output. So let's click OK. And you can see that it is showing me the central regions data. When I click on the east, it's gonna give me the east region data. And same way when I click on the south, it's gonna give me the south regions data. And when I choose west, it's gonna give me the west region data. The interesting option is reset. When I'm choosing reset, nothing is coming in. My interest is that I want to go ahead and I want to get all the regions here. So here I'll apply one more condition in the filter. And I'll say or choose option as reset and click OK. So when the option is coming out to be reset, in that case, all the data will come in. So if you now choose central, it's going to show me central region, same way east and so on. And when I click on reset, it is going to give me all the regions data. Because now we are not filtering on any region specifically. So it's going to give me all the values. So that is my first chart and the, exactly the same logic I will apply on the sales number as well. So let's make this as map. Second is the sales number. So I'll drag my sales in the text. I can again format the same. And I can increase the font size. So here is my overall sales as of now. I'll apply the same logic. I'll call the choose parameter here also. And I'll drag my region in here and I can apply the condition. I can actually go ahead and in the map chart, I applied this in the worksheet, which is the other worksheet as well. So you can see it's available here also, the filter. And now when I choose, you can see it's showing me central region sales, then east region sales, then south region sales, then west region sales, and then the reset, which is going to give me the overall sales. So this is what we have to implement and now we'll go ahead and we'll create a dashboard and we'll see how it works. Before I do that, I will also do one more thing. I click on a new sheet and create a calculated field where I'll give the name as reset and pass the value also as reset. I'll drag this, I'll click on the shape square and I'll drag this in the details and let's go to the shapes drag the reset in the label I'll remove from the shape and change this to square I'll increase the size so that it will look better and I'll increase this a bit basically I want to make this as a button so I'm just expanding it and I'll make this 
value in the center maybe I can bold this a bit so here is my button coming in so this button I want so let's give this name as button and now I'll create a dashboard and in this dashboard I'll go ahead first of all I'll give the title that is how to create global reset button that is my title and I'll drag this map chart and I'll remove this legend or if you want you can put it below and the sales number I want so I'll I want my sales number at the bottom so I'll just go and use the floating and drag this below here hide the title this is looking good and I'll just minimize this size And here you can see the white background so i'll just change that go back to the sheet and i'll format i want it to be none so it's like a transparent number coming in so this is looking nice just adjusting the things out here all right so now i'll hide this title as well that's okay and you can see it's looking very much cluttered so I can increase the size of the dashboard a bit okay this is okay if you want you can increase the height as well and I'll drag this button option also here Now, as of now, nothing will happen because this button is just a sheet which I have and here you can see it's an option. This is working fine, but I don't want to touch these options while resetting, right? I When I, suppose I'm selecting central, that's okay, but I want to reset. So in that case, I have to click this button rather than going to the drop down and choosing the reset. I want this button to be enabled for the same. So for that what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll add the actions out here and here in the actions I'll choose the action parameter. This should happen on the button so I'll just choose the button on select what you want. So basically I am saying that when I select the button sheet what should happen. So I should say the choose option parameter should change. And I'll go and choose the reset field which we have created. No aggregation because it's just a text which we have. Keep the current value and let's see what happens. I click on select, click OK. Here I can give the name reset parameter action. And now when I click on reset, you can see that it's going back to the original state of all the regions when i click again click on east coming in when i click here nothing will happen because i have to press escape and then i have to click reset again so you can see it's coming up nicely then again you are selecting let's say south region again you are pressing select so it's working fine when i'm resetting when i'm clicking on west I have to click again it's you can see this is a problem again when I'm clicking on the reset first of all I have to escape the same and then this reset button will work so it'll solve the same problem as well that why we have to click or escape first that is like we have to deselect and then we have to proceed further and we have to reset when, when I'm selecting east reset looking good when I'm changing back to south now this reset button is not working because I have to first press escape and then I have to click on the reset. Things will work fine. So that escape which we are doing, I don't want it to happen. So that we will solve. But this is how we can go ahead and we can reset the values which is very intuitive, very interesting and it is giving me the nice user experience. Alright, so now let's solve this problem which we are having here. 
of the resetting button. So I'll first go ahead and create one parameter further. And in this parameter, I'm going to choose the Boolean values, which will have true and false. So let's give this name as don't highlight or don't select. So this is my parameter. I'm going to create one calculated field as well, where I'll write a logic. Don't, the name which I'm giving is don't select logic. And here I'll say if my don't select parameter is equal to false, is equal to false, then true. Else false. So basically we are here trying to fake Tableau and try to deselect the sheet by itself. So if don't select equal to false, that means the parameter value is equal to false then it's going to give me true else false. I click OK. I'll go back to my reset button and this field which I have created, I want to put it in the sheet. It should be there in the sheet. It should be present in the sheet. So I'm just dragging that here. Obviously in the tooltip, we can go ahead and we can remove that. I don't want it. So just uncheck the tooltips. And so that tooltip is not coming in. Now, once I go to the dashboard, two actions I have to perform. The first action is I'll go to the action and apply again action parameter where I'll choose the same button sheet and here I'll choose the parameter which is don't select and I'll choose this particular logic which we have created. That is one thing. Second is I'm going to apply the action filter where I'll go and select the button one. This is the target sheet. So when I choose the button here, my button sheet will be the target sheet which we have on select show all values. I click OK. I click OK. And now let's choose the central. You can see when I click on reset, it's resetting. When I choose now the east, you can see that the reset button is perfectly working fine. I don't have to press escape further. So this is how we can go ahead and solve that problem of resetting or escaping the sheet while clicking the sheet I have to escape again and again which I'm not able to do which I don't have to do now anymore so that is the benefit which we have and now I'll go ahead and finalize this particular dashboard I'll have some number out here and I can go ahead and I can uh, change the format I can go and choose the format make it, make it a bit of dark in color I'll go and change the map as well and in the map i'll choose the layers and go with a dark shade with a little bit of washout and in the button also i'll make my sheet to be in the darker shade and done so now you can see the dashboard is created when i choose any of the options reset it is looking beautiful and you can see that the user interactivity is quite beautiful in this entire scenario. So this is how we can implement this global reset button, which is going to be very, very intuitive and very, very powerful for the end users. I hope this makes sense. We'll see you in the next tip and trick soon. Till then, take care.